what is is going to help them to understand where we're headed in the last days and the fight to reclaim our moral compass before it's too late. Well, well, the first one, Pastor, uh, Alliance of Evil, uh, written a couple of years ago, and I said, there is a new Cold War. Uh, at the time, very few people believed it. Well, you know, fast forward to today, I'm finding very few people that don't believe it. Um, I lay out 16 indicators in there of uh, the new Cold War. Uh, and of course, we're fighting this new Cold War on four you know, battlefronts, where it's in cyber, uh, and they're constantly robbing us blind uh, of our intellectual property. Uh, we're battling them ideologically. Obviously, uh, they're using their stakes, you know, their, their mechanisms in the United States to go after us in terms of election interference, in terms of propaganda. They control much of what Hollywood says uh, because of their leverage over the studios. Uh, we also see militarily and uh, technologically. Militarily, uh, their military is rapidly growing into a near peer of the United States. That's part of you know, basically what Mr. Trump said in his first national security strategy. Uh, that's very important, uh, but so is the technology. Uh, they have created uh, an artificial intelligence uh, effort to you know, take over uh, much of what's going on in the world uh, through artificial intelligence op operations. In fact, President Xi in 2017 made it clear that he has every intention of taking over the internet uh, by gaining uh, control over you know, kind of the, the bones of the mechanisms that run the global internet. And what might that mean? That means basically he can, you know, control what you see and what you don't see. Uh, if you do a search on Google or whatever, uh, they would control what would come up. And if, if they don't, uh, in what they call the red zone, uh, if they don't want you to see an article that's you know, discriminatory or you know, certainly saying things bad about China, then it will never appear. Uh, so that's part of the ideological war. And then, of course, uh, we have seen uh, other indications economically. Uh, the, the Chinese, uh, in spite of the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, increased their economic prowess, their GDP, this past year, whereas most of the world uh, went down, and the Chinese are continuing to enjoy that. So across those four battlefronts, and I go into great detail in the book uh, and demonstrate that this you know, Chinese enemy, as well as the Russians in a couple areas, not as much as the Chinese, are clearly in a new Cold War. It's very different than the old Cold War, but it's true. On Collision Course, Collision Course basically talks about where we are today. Uh, we've lost our moral compass. Uh, we have uh, an element that is you know, tearing apart the very civil liberties, and the very institutions that make and made this country great. Uh, they target the family. They target the faith community. Uh, they, of course, have taken over as best as they can the media, which they control. Uh, they've taken over the education establishment. Uh, and, of course, they've taken over much of government. Uh, and I show the rich heritage of our great nation as uh, all the way back to when the original settlers came here, whether they were Puritans or whether they were Baptists here in Virginia uh, or Presbyterians down in South Carolina. Uh, I look at that history, as where we started, how all these institutions started, and they were faith-based, they were Christian-based, and how we have just evolved into something that our founders wouldn't recognize today. So, you know, both books, I think, are contemporary in terms of the important things that are going on before us. If you want to understand the battle with Russia and China, read Alliance of Evil. If you want to understand the domestic challenges in our own history, read Collision Course.